Today, we are tackling one of the most commonly asked behavioral job interview questions. Tell me about a time when you performed well under pressure. You might be thinking, wait a second, I'm not that familiar with this question. Do a quick Google search, because when I did a Google search, over 2 billion hits ended up for this question alone, 2 billion. So what that's telling me is it's not just common, some form of this type of question, a pressure question, is almost inevitable. And that's why it's crucial that we not only have an answer ready to this type of question, but focusing in on what we did to perform well under pressure and specifically how we did it. Stay tuned as I delve into this example that highlights all the critical steps you need to know. And for this example, we're going to answer it from the perspective of somebody in a technical client facing role. Specifically, I'm going to imagine myself as a sales engineer. But if you really follow the what's and how's, this example will be helpful for anyone practicing this type of question. You don't want to miss this. So let's dive in. As always, our fake interviewer is Sue. And just to get into a flow state, we're going to have Sue ask us this question and dive in. Jeff, tell me about a time when you performed well under pressure. Sue, this is an example from my time as a sales engineer at Tech Solutions Inc., a leading software solutions provider specializing in automation tools for small to medium-sized businesses. I was working with a team of five, including two developers, a product manager, and a marketing specialist. We were gearing up for a major product launch, but two weeks before the release, we discovered a significant software glitch that could potentially affect our sales and our reputation. So I was tasked with identifying the root cause of the glitch, coordinating with the dev team to fix it, and ensuring the product was ready for launch. And I needed to complete all of this in two weeks. The first action I took was I really dove deep into the feedback from our beta testers to understand the nature of the glitch. So I used our analytics tools. I segmented the feedback based on user demographics. I isolated patterns that indicated that maybe there was a potential glitch, and I collaborated with the data science team to validate these findings. Then I formulated a comprehensive strategy to tackle the glitch. I mapped out the problem's root causes, developed a phased approach to address each cause, set up a risk assessment matrix to anticipate potential challenges, and ensure that every team member had a clear understanding of their role. I followed that up by leading a focused discussion with the development and product teams. I used a structured agenda, shared insights from that research phase, facilitated a brainstorming session to encourage innovative solutions, and ensured a consensus was reached before we moved forward. Then we embarked on testing and we tested that regimen with post fixes. So we incorporated both automated and manual testing methodologies. We simulated real world scenarios to ensure that the glitch was truly resolved. And then we established a rapid feedback mechanism to address any minor or major issues that arose. Then we executed. We introduced the refined version to our beta testers before the official launch. We leveraged cloud deployment system. We ensured real-time updates. We set up just a dedicated channel for immediate feedback, and we held daily debriefs to discuss any emerging concerns. And then we launched. We orchestrated a seamless product launch, ensuring all the stakeholders were informed. We collaborated closely with marketing. We synchronized our promotional campaigns, prepped the customer support team with FAQs and troubleshooting guides, and established a post-launch review mechanism. Then we presented those final results. I really wanted to showcase our journey from glitch discovery to successful launch to the company's leadership team. So I utilized some visual presentations and live demos. I highlighted the challenges, our innovative solutions, and underscored the resilience and adaptability of the overall team. And then we documented our journey for future endeavors. Specifically, we put it on our internal wiki and we had detailed out each step from problem identification to resolution and set up alerts for continuous monitoring and highlighted areas where further optimization could be achieved based on ongoing feedback. The results were awesome under a lot of pressure and tight deadlines. I was able to lead a collaborative effort that not only resolved the glitch, but also strengthened our team's problem solving capabilities. We witnessed a 20% surge in sales and a 95% positive feedback rate from our user base. The company garnered 
really great accolades for the responsive approach. And my teammates expressed a heightened sense of cohesion and pride in our shared achievement. And then this was really repeatable. The structured problem solving approach we adopted, specifically in the research phase and the testing phase, will absolutely be a blueprint for future endeavors at the company. And that's it. It's a very, very robust answer. It's coming right in around four minutes, which is really the cap of where I like to see a behavioral answer length, right around three to four minutes. But what I really want you to focus in on is the how. We really had a detailed walkthrough of how a sales engineer, specifically in this case me, would perform exceptionally well under pressure. And for these types of answers, the how you handled the pressure is going to be critical. Remember, some variation of this question is extremely likely in your job interviews. With over 2 billion Google hits, it's just validating that these types of questions are asked pretty commonly. Hey, if you found this video helpful and you want to see more content like this, I love doing these Q&A videos. Let me know what type of question, what type of role you're trying to solve for, and anyone who you think could benefit from that con this content, please share. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep crushing those interview skills.